But for most of us here, stem cells, you know, if you've ever heard about it at all, you're thinking about, oh, maybe you have a bad knee or tennis right. elbow and you're going to go to yes. the strip mall and you're going to, you know, pay a huge boatload of money to get an injection of stem cells. Well, look, here's the bottom line. I, I would I would discourage people from doing those because we're not stem cell therapy is really not ready for prime time for most diseases. There's a few, right. yes, but most right. not. Um, and it's just kind of marketing entrepreneurs trying to do something, you know, based on a, a cool idea. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. William Lee, a physician, scientist, and author dedicated to exploring the power of food as medicine. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating topic that holds great promise for our health, stem cells. Plus, we'll share a delicious recipe with stem cell regrowing ingredients. Stem cells are unique cells in our body that have the ability to repair, regenerate, and maintain our tissues and organs. They play a crucial role in healing and maintaining our health. But did you know that the foods you eat can significantly influence the health and function of your stem cells? In this video, we'll explore the foods that can support and enhance your stem cells, promoting better health and longevity. We'll also discuss the factors that can inhibit stem cell function, so you can make informed choices about your diet and lifestyle. Join us as we uncover the powerful connection between nutrition and stem cell health and learn how you can harness this knowledge to support your body's natural regenerative abilities. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Let's listen to Dr. Lee tell us what stem cells are. But I want to kind of bring people to the beginning and tell you what a stem cell is and why it's important and how foods can actually activate it. So when we, uh, you know, we're, we're all made of stem cells. We, we started as stem cells. In fact, when your dad's sperm met your mom's egg uh, and we were all just a bunch of primitive cells uh, just st forming the, our future body, our future us. Right. Everything was a stem cell. So the first things that got formed were your circulation, these little lakes of blood that had to lay down the patterns that, you know, then turn into the organs. And then the organs were fed by the blood. And then you got later on bones and skin and muscle and everything else that forms. That's stem cells. And it's called stem, you know, like the stem of a flower, because that's where the blooms start from. So if you have a stem of a flower, there's little branches that can turn into different kinds of flowers. And that's exactly what these stem cells do. They start off all the same. And later on, if they're in your skull, they can turn into a brain. If they're on your skin, they can turn into a skin or a hair follicle to grow hair. If they're uh, on your toe, they can turn into a toenail. Amazing, wonderful thing about stem cells is they can become anything. They're, they're, they're sort of um, uh, masters of adaptation to wherever they need to be. So... That's one way we know about stem cells. Are there others? Now, how, do we, how else do we know about stem cells that people might have heard about? You know, if you've ever uh, have been a parent uh, and you're getting ready for your first child or, you know, your delivery, you always get sent this note by your obstetrician to say, hey, do you want to save your kid's stem cells, your umbilical stem cells? Aha, that's the other place you hear, but people tend to hear about it. Can you tell just what stem cells are? So what are those things? Well, those stem cells are when the baby is born, um, uh, you know, you got to cut the umbilical cord. By the time of birth, all the stem cells have turned into whatever they, the, uh, the baby has all the organs and cells it, and it needs. It's all done. Uh, at least it's baked, ready to come out of the oven. But there's more stem cells that are needed than to create the baby. So where are some of those stem cells? Well, first, there are some stem cells that are left in the umbilical cord. So when we cut the umbilical cord, we're, we're separating the mom from the baby and there's still some stem cells in, in this umbilical cord. So what we do, we're able to squeeze them out, kind of like toothpaste out of a tube. You know, when you get to the end of the toothpaste, right. you want to get that one little extra thing of toothpaste out, squeeze out literally billions of stem cells and save them. Now, those stem cells, uh, people go, well, well, they, the doctor told me that's really to help treat my kid if they have leukemia later on. And, that, and, and it's scary and sometimes it creates a bad feeling. Actually, the, here's the deal. The reason yeah. that they have to market about leukemia and cancer is because right. that's what the FDA is approved of. Now, the mm. people who are doing research are saying, you know, you should bank these stem cells because they're more likely to be useful to the aging you later in your life to grow a new liver or a spinal cord or right. maybe even help to regenerate your brain. 
that's how fast this is going. Are there additional stem cells? Right. But what happens is that you cut the cord, baby's born, and there are still extra stem cells in the baby. Now, where do those stem cells wind up going? They get stored in these little secret compartments. The bone marrow, the little the hollow parts of inside your bone, stem cells live there like bees in a beehive waiting to come out if they're needed. They also go into your liver, they go into your lungs, they go into your skin. They're hiding all these places. And these stem cells wind up right. rejuvenating and replacing old and damaged cells in our body throughout our adult, our, our children, mm -hmm. our, our uh, lives as children, but also through adulthood, um, even into aging, invisibly. We are repaired and replaced and regenerated and renewed from the inside out by these stem cells. How can those stem cells help us? So how do they come out? Why do they come out? Well, whenever you have an injury, if you cut yourself, scrape your knee, fall off a bicycle, all right, um, that injury says, oh, you know, we need a little, we need a covering. So you heal from the outside, the wound heals up to grow more skin. But more importantly, we now know some of those stem cells are attracted by these signals from the damaged area to say, mm -hmm. hey, come on out. We need you now. And the stem cells fly out of the bone marrow like bees in a bee hive flying out towards a flower bed. And they just start to regrow the tissue from inside your wound. Is there proof that we can regrow our organs? If you remove two thirds of a healthy adult liver and you leave only one third, the right one third uh, b b behind, amazing over the course of a couple of years the rest of the liver will grow right yeah. back and i didn't know this but if you c clip off the top of your lung the apex of your lung all right uh uh guess what the tip will grow right back because we've got enough stem cells and we do know stem cells also work because our hair grows back right, right. we know that our skin grows back as well we and our gut lining also grows back uh as also it's one of the fastest replacing rejuvenating re 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 regenerating uh, mm -hmm. cells out there so Here's the deal. We regenerate ourselves with our stem cells that we inherited from the time we were born. What's the latest research telling us? And the new, really exciting research that I write about in A2B uh, disease is that these stem cells can be enhanced with foods. Foods like dark chocolate. Plant-based food, cacao, actually has the right polyphenols, proanthocyanidins. I'm a researcher, so I know exactly what it is that can call out double the number of stem cells to help heal your circulation, your heart, your brain. It's quite amazing that this can um, uh, uh, happen. Are there any other foods? This is the tip of the spear. Foods like dark chocolate, olive oil, pomegranates, uh, 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 barley, uh, some whole grains, uh, uh, kiwi, they all can actually play a role in helping our body regenerate. In this research of which foods can stimulate regeneration right. is really, really important. Here's a quick recipe that incorporates the stem cell regrowing foods that Dr. Lee just mentioned. I find recipes confusing. The stem cell boosting power bowl. This is my grandmother's recipe. This nutrient packed power bowl combines foods known to support stem cell regeneration, creating a delicious and healthful meal that's both satisfying and beneficial. Ingredients, one two cup cooked barley, 1 2 cup cooked quinoa, 1 2 cup pomegranate seeds, 1 kiwi peeled and sliced, 1 ounce dark chocolate 72% or higher, chips or roughly chopped, 2 tablespoon extra virgin olive oil, 1 4 cup chopped fresh rosemary or sage These herbs are also known to support stem cells, 1 4 cup chopped walnuts, almonds, pistachios, brazil, or hazelnuts These nuts are also known to support stem cells. 1 to lemon, juice for overall cellular support which can be beneficial for maintaining the health and function of stem cells, dried ground wakame as a salt substitute and pepper to taste. Wakame contains a unique compound called fucoidin, a type of sulfated polysaccharide that has been studied for its potential any cancer, any inflammatory, and immune boosting properties. Fucoidin has also been explored for its ability to support stem cell proliferation and differentiation. This is your recipe! Instructions. Cook the grains. Cook the barley and mixed whole grains according to the package instructions. Once cooked, let them cool slightly. Prepare the dressing. In a small bowl, whisk together the extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper. Set aside. Assemble the power bowl. In a large bowl, combine the cooked and cooled barley and whole grains. Add the pomegranate seeds, kiwi slices, and chopped herbs. 
Pour the dressing over the mixture and gently toss everything together until well combined. Add dark chocolate. Just before serving, sprinkle the dark chocolate over the top. The contrast of the chocolate with the other ingredients adds a touch of sweetness and a rich texture. Optional crunch. If you like, add chopped nuts for an extra layer of crunch and heart-healthy fats. Serve. Divide the mixture into bowls and enjoy this nourishing meal packed with ingredients that support stem cell health. It's delicious! <laughs> now, Dr. Lee, is there anything that damages stem cells? What are some things that can um, stun or damage right. our stem cells? Alcohol. You drink a lot, yeah. you smoke yeah. a lot, cigarettes, vaping, um, you're going to be stunning your stem cells. That's like basically taking, you know, brass knuckles and knocking out your stem cells. Why would you want to do that? So now we're realizing also that this is one of the reasons why excessive drinking and smoking, uh, not getting enough sleep, uh, chronic in uh, uh, sleep deprivation also stuns our stem cells. Uh, uh, artificial sweeteners will also do it. Artificial preservatives, colorings, uh, flavoring, some of them will stun our stem cells. Wow, that is interesting news. So look, my world as a food as medicine researcher is to try to bring some explanation and clarity and specificity of why it is that we're now beginning to say, stay away if you can from too many, eating too many ultra processed foods, stay away from these chemicals in your environment. Because what now we know among many things they can do, they can right. stun your stem cells. Anything else? Even worse, so things in your envir environment, oh, excess ultraviolet radiation, off gassing for furniture, right. great new car smell that everyone loves. Yes. And it's just fumes from chemicals going into your lungs. Um, uh, the, the plastic that you nuke in the microwave that gets into your food, the microplastic from the water bottles that we're drinking, um, uh, you know, or the tea bags that are coming off into the tea that we're brewing, all those things damage our health defenses. And here's the thing. Remember that spell checker we were talking about a few moments ago? Yeah. That spell checker in our body that fixes errors in our DNA to lower the chances that we're getting uh, microscopic cancers. These uh, environmental assaults also damage our spell checker, making it more likely we're going to get develop more microscopic cancer, making it more likely we'll develop cancer later on. Explanation, right? We'd be now beginning to understand why. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.